guys i hope you all are doing swell and welcome back to my channel so i'm starting off the vlog pretty late it's like pitch black outside but it's 606 right now and i'm just now getting back in you know you have such a good day that you just forget to vlog that was one of my days today me and my mom woke up we went and got deep tissue massages which was so well needed because we haven't gotten one since my birthday in march so we were well overdue so we did that we did a little bit of shopping we got lunch and then we just chilled out we got some sushi to go and ate it here but it was just a really fun like girls pamper day but i just like quickly dipped out for a second because i ordered a kindle in the last vlog and i just picked it up and i thought that i would do a little bit of an unboxing tonight i'm planning on reading all night um and then i'm also going to do my nails so i'll show you guys that as well but i did go ahead and pick up the kindle because it was supposed to be able to be picked up tomorrow and i was going to go earlier but the line was so long and then i was like let me go in the afternoon because maybe the line is isn't too long but I was legit in line for like 30 minutes doing like the curbside pickup but anywho this is the Kindle paper white and then when he gave it to me I was just like this is so tiny are you sure that this is it he's like yes Miss Gilbert that is it so um yeah I just ordered off the of Best Buy because they have the warranties and I saw that like after 10 months or so sometimes they just lag and I was like I might as well just get off of Best Buy because a Amazon be rough house and stuff and then B if something does happen for the next three years I can just turn it in and get a new one this is what the little box looks like I don't know if this is interesting to anyone but I am so excited because I read so much off my phone and I just love like I used to love reading out of books like I still do but I prefer doing stuff on my phone because I'm always on like electronic stuff so my mind is just programmed to it now so I decided to pick up this so this is what the box is looking like it's just the Kindle Paperwhite thinner lighter and now waterproof and I got it in black eight gigabytes because I was wondering I was like where's the charger because it's so like thin so that is what the box looks like it just has a little etching of a tree like a little person sitting underneath it reading really cute and sleek it has just like a little cord that I can plug into one of my like iPhone USBs it doesn't have much of instructions so I guess I need to plug it in but this is what it looks like straight out the box really cute really tiny and I got it because like I said I like to read a lot and I have so many books on my like queue that I want to read then also next year me and Kendall my fiance are getting married and like with just like traveling hopefully with that honeymoon I just want to have something to take to the beach because we have a big trip coming up so hopefully by that time the vaccine is out and we're able to safely do that but the place that we want to go as well right now is just really really safe and COVID friendly so just prepping ahead of time but anywho and this is what it looks like so strange it looks like paper like it feels like I need to pull this off but no okay I'm such a noob at this okay I don't know if you guys can tell because I am somewhere where there is a lot of light it has this like little blank screen and a little kindle symbol I should get my charger yeah, let me grab my charger really quickly so we can properly set this up. It just has like the setup screen like you usually would have on like new electronic devices. So that is what it's looking like. Is it touch screen? Oh, it's touch screen. I didn't think it was. Weeks of battery life. That's nice. I don't have anywhere to plug it up right here because our Alexa and our security system. Girl, I was just saying your name. I wasn't calling you. Um, it's set up right here. Hmm. I don't know that one. Girl. So I'm going to set this up off camera because you guys don't want to see all that. It shouldn't be too much. I'm excited to see like what book I'm going to read first. I have a few on my list. I want something that's either scary or reminds me of traveling right now. So either one will do. I watched uh, Sunbeam's Jess, which I watch her off and on, but I decided to watch her like yesterday and she does like TBR, like reviews of like books to read for like the month. And then I looked at her Goodreads, which is like a thing that you can do and like kind of rate books and also see what's popular. You can also rent books as well for like your Kindle. So I'm going to check that out because I did bookmark a few books that I really want to like rent. So I am going to, I'm going to do that. Oh, it's already connected to 54% so let me get 
the Wi-Fi out. Do you guys wanna see this? I don't think so. I'm gonna come back once I got everything set up. Okay, you guys, so I set up everything. So this is what it's looking like. It's just a home screen. So I guess that I just pick a book and I start reading and it's attached to my Amazon account. So I guess if I purchase a book off of here or I purchase one off of my Amazon account, it'll just automatically download to this. But I'm going to play around with this some more and I'll update you guys tomorrow because I have the intentions on vlogging tomorrow as well. I'm going to also do my nails tonight so I'll show you guys that too. But I'm going to pour some Prosecco, get in the bed. Girl, it's only 6 o'clock and I'm already talking about getting in the bed. I'm going to get in the bed, pour some Prosecco and read. Um, me and Kendall, we're going to hang out tonight but I just want to read so bad. So we're going to hang out tomorrow and I'm going to take you guys along for a cozy little Sunday day. But I'll show you guys my nails actually really quickly I'm gonna let this charge up for a bit and then we can go and look at some nails so let me charge this up so this is what my nails are looking like right now just a nude little shade on them this is what I've been wearing for the last two weeks or so but they look really good with my um, engagement band but you guys know that I love impressed nails and me and Kendall went on a trip like a COVID friendly which is on my channel I'll have it up above we got so many nails so I want to do some that are kind of holiday-ish but I have so many to choose from so I don't think I'm gonna use the wait I take that back I think I might do these they're kind of long but I love like those little jewels and glitter but I have some other like blue ones that are so pretty I also have like these little pointed ones hmm I also have some little Frenches that might be cute. Um, I think because it's like the Christmas season, I'm going to do something a little bit more holiday because these over here are a little bit like a little springtime. That is really pretty. They look like Sailor Moon, even though I've never seen that show, but they do look like Sailor Moon nails. I think I might, I might do these. I think these will be so cute on. So I'm going to do these nails and I'm going to show you guys actually in some better lighting so I'm going to do these nails and they're so cute they look like pumpkin spice but I think they're a warm enough tone to wear within like the holiday month I'm gonna do my nails and yeah these are really cute so check in with you guys probably later on right now and I just finished my morning meeting with my team I actually just uploaded a video yesterday if you guys want to see behind the scenes of what it's like working a full-time corporate job from home but that goes like all into detail but what is up I haven't talked to you guys in some time uh, last time you saw me I was reading in bed and I did my nails and they look so cute they're like a little pumpkin spice but I love the little glitter because I feel like it just makes my ring pop out a lot more and then I read 80 pages in that book so I'm really excited because because getting this little Kindle is going to be monumental for reading so I'm excited about that and then yesterday I had the intentions on vlogging but it was just such a cold and rainy day and it was one of the days that me and my fiance uh, hang out so in the morning me and my mom went to three places to find some wedding shoes for me because I have a wedding fitting this week it's like my one of my final wedding fittings even though my wedding's not until next year I just went ahead and got my dress altered and I'll have two more next year but I get to take my dress home this week so I needed some 
some shoes to wear to the fitting, but we went to DSW, we went to Nordstrom Rack, we went to Macy's, didn't see anything. I ordered some shoes off of ASOS and I ordered some shoes off of Aldo. None of those work. So my intentions for this week is to find some really good shoes. We might go to another area in town so I can find some, but I wanted to get like some reception shoes, which is where I ordered some off of ASOS and they were not the size that I needed and they just didn't look as cute. And that happened twice with ASOS. They're not very good at like shoes. Everything else I love, but the shoes, it's just a miss for me. But um, I didn't find any shoes that I really want and I didn't want to just settle because I wanted something that's comfy and that's fairly plain since my dress is so detailed and ornate with like pearls and stuff. So I didn't want something that would take away from the dress. So that's my like goal for this week is to find some wedding shoes. But um, yesterday me and my mom did that and then I came home. Then it was me and my fiance's date night so uh we uh he picked me up and we went and got food we took it back to his house and ate we watched big mouth then we got some peppermint mochas then we went to target and then we also um we watched home alone too so it was a fun little date night but when he brought me back you guys it was raining so hard and it was so cold so as soon as i got in i helped my mom with like one of her school assignments and then i got into bed because i was just tk though because i love this type of weather but it's good like rainy day not having to do much just reading but I was just like having fun with my fiance but it's like that today again so I'm just like oh work <laughs> so I'm having one of those like Monday starts but it's gonna turn around it's gonna be a really good day um, because my company did something monumental this week so I can't really share it because it will tell you like where I work for but we did some really phenomenal things so hopefully things will start to change and like you know what we're living in right now things will start to change so I'm really excited about that so hopefully we have a little bit of normalcy around the wedding next year and also hopefully I'll be able to go into the office because I truly miss my work friends like me and my mom were talking about that this weekend this morning I did my devotional I planned out a little bit of the week not too much because I don't have too much to get up to um and then now I'm about to eat I made some coffee some coconut coffee but today I really want to go to the grocery store so I am going to try to vlog inside I'm going to try to push myself and vlog inside of Trader Joe's so the time I'm going it shouldn't be too many people there because I usually go to Kroger I just like Kroger's but I want some new things like some fun and exciting things because I want to start eating a little bit more I've always been the type of person that eats one big meal a day but I need to eat at least two big meals or two medium-sized meals a day so I'm intending on getting a few more things that I can eat throughout the day yesterday I was trying to vlog and talk to you guys and Ken was like no one knows you in here why don't you just vlog and then I get so nervous so I'm just like um I'll build up to that so um it's nice to have that support of just like just vlog out in public no one's gonna care if they do they'll just ask Ask you like what you're doing and try to follow you on YouTube we love that energy we love that support but I am rambling you know I love to ramble but I just want to say hello I didn't forget about you I just haven't had the the time to kind of pull out my camera and do things along those lines but on the agenda for today I I don't have much to do at work like I have the stuff that I need to do every day but I do have a networking meeting at 11 so I'm going to try to get as much of like my stuff done now so after my network meeting I don't have many things to do in the afternoon because the way the weather is situated I'm not trying to do too much this afternoon so <laughs> that is uh what I'm gonna do but nothing too grand nothing too crazy I am gonna vlog tomorrow and then also my bag should be here this week as well so of course I'm gonna show you guys that so um I'm excited about that and then also we have some holiday things going on this week so even though this vlog is a little like eh like a little eh, eh. um the rest of the week of like the daily vlogmas video should be very exciting but i'm gonna stop rambling because i've been rambling for six minutes because i haven't talked to you in some time but i'm gonna eat i'm gonna listen to the rest of the podcast i'm gonna do some emails and i'll probably check you guys out when we head out to go to trader joe's so i hope you all are having a wonderful and blessed day yeah i'm gonna stop rambling what's up you guys it is 1 15 right now and i went out to trader joe's on my lunch break one thing i will say about trader joe's the people who shop there aren't very friendly like I feel like every time that I go there the people are not nice they're very like kind of entitled so I try to get in there and get out so that's why I didn't vlog because I had the intentions of like taking you guys along inside but just the vibe was all off so I was just like no let me just 
get in here and get out. But all the employees are always so nice, so that's a shame. But I would think that during the holiday season, as well as, you know, just during COVID, people be a little bit more nicer. People are just like bogarting in front and just like getting too close. I was just like, it's time for me to head out. But you guys, I picked up two heavy bags worth of stuff. I did bring up my reusable bags, but during COVID, stores aren't using reusable bags anymore because of like bacteria, I guess. So I wasn't able to use those. So I just have some little paper ones, but I got quite a bit of things. So I thought that I would do a little bit of a haul and show you guys everything that I did pick up. I picked up some pineapple chunks because I wanted some fresh fruit and I was like, that sounds really good. So I just got some of these, which I might snack on. I got a super burrito, which has quinoa, sweet potato, and kale. So I thought that that would be really good. Got some cheeses for a charcuterie board. Got some broccoli to add to salad as well as stir fry. This is the salad that I'm gonna eat for lunch today. It's just a baby spinach and green salad with blue cheese, candy pecans, cranberries, and raspberry vinaigrette. It's so good. I honestly could have made this myself, but I'm looking for convenience right now because I'm starving. Also got some salmon dip, and this goes with the charcuterie board. We have some red pepper jelly as well in the fridge, so I might make like a little charcuterie board situation. Also got some falafels because me and Kendall always go to a place and they have such great food and people are so nice it's just like a 10 out of 10 but I feel like I'm cheating on them in a sense but I really wanted some of these because um, I want to be able to eat some at home also got some baby fried rice so I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but sometimes I really want rice. I got two bags of veggie gyozas. Got a little carrot juice because these are always nice to just drink. Then I got some vegan Caesar dressing for some salads that I can make for this week. I got some smoked salmon to add to the charcuterie board. Some spring rolls. I thought that I would just try these out to see if they're up to par. Last this bag, got a spinach quiche because these are the way and the truth. And they're actually seasoned for pretty good as well so that's always a 10 out of 10 I don't have to add too much additional seasoning which I love adding seasoning but that one seasons pretty well got some assortment crackers for the charcuterie board peanut butter pretzels also for the charcuterie board I got an avocado and I have one right here which I need to throw away so ooh, that didn't sound nice when it hit the ground I try to get just one at a time because I don't eat them as often anymore. So I just got one this time. And you guys, I got these brownie cookies because I thought the Kindle would really like them and my mom as well. So I got these, but I might eat one right now. The guy who was checking me out was so nice. He was like, have you had these before? And I was like, no, I made them like in high school one time. He said, oh, they're the best. Y'all are gonna eat them up. So got a little recommendation. They look so good. So I'm gonna eat one of those. Also got some off-brand Brookside's because I just honestly didn't feel like going to Kroger in addition to TJ, uh, in addition to TJ Maxx, in addition to Trader Joe's. So I got these. They're not as good as Brookside's, but they're pretty decent. Persimmons for the charcuterie board. And you guys, look at this. <laughs> it's so huge. And I was asking the guy that was over in the like alcohol. There was all guys working there today. I didn't see any ladies, but I was asking him because I had two bottles. And I was like, which one is the best? He was like, man, that one's really good. And I said, are you sure? Is it good as like the regular Prosecco? He was like, oh, it's the best. And we sell out of it all the time. You guys, this was only $12. For the name brand Prosecco, I paid like $15 for that little bottle. This is huge. So it's going to last me for quite some time. So I'm not going to bust this open anytime soon. But for like the weekend, girl, going to have me a little glass of that. It's going to be good. I got some mushroom seasoning. And then last in my little Trader Joe's are these and they're just fun to snack on especially since I like finish all my work pretty early but then I do like my customer issues in the afternoon which takes quite a bit of time because I have to contact like different departments and then seek help on my team but I got these because they're just good for me to snack on because I said earlier that I'm looking to like eat at least two medium-sized meals a day instead of just one big one so I want some little snacks to kind of supplement as well in that little 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 arrangement so I was trying to think if there was anything else I need to show you guys I don't think there is uh, I am going to be vlogging for this afternoon because I have to wrap some Christmas presents but I'm going to eat right now and I'm going to love you and leave you 
as well but i truly hope you enjoyed some days in my life i hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day definitely make sure you those fun things like give it a big old like and subscribe down below if you haven't already i'll see you guys in my next video but you all have a wonderful and blessed day and take care bye you guys Thank you.